Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Train Man, and welcome to... I would say finished, but it's far from that. In fact, let me just go and grab some... No, not those guys. Where are the ones I normally use? They're under America. It's far from finished, is what I'm trying to say. What, um... go. But what I do have is all of the track work done. These are our storage yards, and of course a turntable. The yard actually has a turntable in two reversing loops, which you might think is kind of redundant, but there's going to be some pretty heavy freight traffic, and there's going to be some, what I guess you would call through, um, passenger traffic. So, you want those to be divvied up. And in fact, there's a very fine division. If I do say so myself. A train coming this way. Let's say you're uh, a freight with a bunch of pigs. Piggybacks. Crossover. Crossover into the yard. And if there's a ship already waiting to take your goods, you cross over here. Here. It's funny, the switches are already set for us. Here. And then you come in here, and this is the intermodal unloading facility. And then it puts them on a ship, ship goes away, and then you're all done, set. You come around here. You switch over to this track. Actually, no. You switch, you stay on this track. You pull into here. And then you stop. Now there's an issue with this. Discovered an issue. Hmm. Well, you pull back around here, and you pull in either the first or the second. Probably the second, because that's just how it goes. Uh, no. You pull in the first if you're on your way back. There, that's a, that's a system. I'm pulling the first if you're on the way back. Actually, instead of coming around, I'll just have them come around this way. Drop their cargo. No, that's perfect. You pull in the first. Um. And you come up to here. The second train will come around and do that. But the first train, you pull into here. You disconnect your engines, and then you roll all the way back here. You switch onto the engine track. This is a track just for engines to bring them back, and you park them back here. Um, that's if you weren't leaving immediately, of course. And then the shunters come out of hiding, I guess. They come out. Um, I need to make a little shunter space. I'm just going to put it here for now. I doubt I'll move it, but I just kind of want a place for them, I think. There we go, let me grab two more of the rail ends, I think. Hey, go. Um, so you park your train here, and then the shunters come out, and they disassemble it. They may have to, I don't know, they would probably start by coming to the end here, taking off a bunch of cars and wheeling them back into the yard. If you're a passenger train on your way in, you're either, if you're the express and you're bypassing uh, Old Orchard, you come screaming along here rather quickly, and then you come up to here, and instead of, I'm going to be just setting these junctions as we go, because, um... I just need them to all be set in their, like, default positions, so they don't confuse trains. Come along here. Come into here, and you pull into, what is this, platform one, yeah. Platform one. And you load up. If you're on your way out, not on your way out, if you're... At this point, it doesn't matter which way you're pointing. 
but if you're going to be turning around instead of stopping, you pick either one of these paths. And you can either go this way and around the loop and then back out and then you cross over and you're out that way. Or if you're parked this way, then you just come around the loop and then come on track two, which is normally what you'd end up doing. Um, platform one is reserved for express and platform two is local. The locals don't have of easy ac don't have as of don't have as easy of access to the reversing loop as the express trains do, and that's fine. Uh, I haven't got the narrow gauge in here yet. I just that just occurred to me. But we're going to be having them come down here and then along, along, and then they're going to branch off, and they're actually going to go up. A, a very slight incline. It's probably going to start way back here. Eventually they're going to go up a slight incline onto a berm, and then they're going to go over here, across here. And because this port is more of a... well, it's only drop-off. What's going to happen is uh, they're going to come over here, and they're going to be on an elevated section. Um... Other than that, there's going to be one single track that comes over here, which is for passenger trains, and it parks right alongside here, and it's going to get its own little station. Speaking of which, wow, that's a little big for that. Let me just rename this. This is going to be... Or station. Um, simple enough. That's all the standard gauge in Galgora. Um, you know, because I have the time, I'm gonna get cracking on this. Let me... Let me just make a kind of general... Okay. Is that a little high? That's definitely a little high. A little high. That seems fine. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just building this out here and it's giving me a headache. The way I do this. And it can result in some really, really trippy screen tearing. It was doing that to me when I was um, texturing the mountains over by uh, Susquica. It was doing some really weird things to me in terms of screen tear tearing and like blurry and I don't know. It was very unusual and it was kind of it, it had a very trippy effect and I may have gotten slightly high and then painted the ground. Just kidding. Or maybe not. You gotta wonder why that, um... Why the cliffs in El Dorado look like they do. I'm gonna smooth this out later. But for now, it's just kind of a, uh... A rough, very rough... Rough, rough. Um, very rough edge here. Whatever, I'll work it out. Make this slightly larger. In fact, I'm going to just go ahead and make this encompass this area. And I'm going to come back later and uh, tidy it up so that none of the tracks are getting smothered. You know, I just realized something. Why am I bothering to 
Uh, hold on. I can make this easier on myself. Because with the magic of the level ground track tool, I can have this here and then just make an enormous mess over here. Because I want it to be as good as it. Oh, wait a minute. So it's always got to be a catch. Doesn't. I feel like it needed that, because I, I started with that, there always has to be a catch. Which is normally like the lead up into something dastardly, just the way I said it. So there needed to be a, uh, a kind of retribution-y sounding... Doesn't it? Dun dun dun. That kind of. Sort of. Not really. Alright, so we have this big dirt berm. Berm. Um. Not sure what that was supposed to be. 10.30, we're going to apply the height over here. And then, I'm going to realize that I made an enormous mess, and fix it. Let's just undo that. Um, so, as I was saying, what I'm not going to do is that. And what I'm actually going to do is get a... Um, not United States, I'll take anywhere right now. All track, get... Not tunnel, bridge is the other one. But I think... Wrong, wrong truss. Where's the... How through truss? I just saw truss and I was like, oh, it has to be it. Let me just grab the... Vertex. 1031. Apply it. Should be decently good. And in fact, what I'm going to do to make this bridge a little bit more not ridiculous is just push that section out a little bit and give this guy a nudge inward. Um. We're going to try and make this as crooked as possible so that we don't get a, um... Again, that's an issue. Let me just... Never happened. Sir Pro, like it never even happened. Um... <laughs> Sponsor. Not really. Let's get the 1031. Let's use that height. Use. And create ourselves a nice little plateau -y thing. Wow, what is with the lag on that? What's going on? It's something with holding the mouse. That's weird. I never actually noticed that the FPS dropped so much, but I assume that's what's causing the screen tearing and such. Whatever, not really a big deal. I don't spend my time pouring over that stuff. And that's a really long truss. I'm gonna see if I can... Am 
Why don't I just do that? Um, I'm gonna say point A. Isn't that a... That's not a narrow gauge bridge. No, it's not. Um, NG trestle. That's that kind of trestle. I need, like, a... The stone viaducts with no track are nice, but they're not what I need. I need some sort of... Hmm. These guys are all standard gauge, aren't they? And they're all the wrong kind of trestle anyways, so it's not like that's a big deal. Let's get all out here, and then it's right. No. Alright, well these are the first ones on the list. That's even worse. <laughs> That's not sanity age, though. Uh, go away. Hmm. I'm just pouring over this. The viaduct doesn't look right, especially considering the fact that it has grass on it. Now I'm rolling my chair all over the place and crashing things and rail sim invisible track. Now let's get some of this stuff in here. Yeah. Do 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 do. What is this? That doesn't work that well. I guess. It doesn't. Whatever. Control Z. All right. Um If I can get this lined up so that none of the Yeah, I can't though. Whoops. I was afraid of that happening. I mean, that works, I suppose. now it's going to look weird because the turn is going to be so tight. Let's just get the narrow gauge track out. Where's the regular narrow gauge track? NG trestle track, NG trestle, and oh there we go. For whatever reason I thought it was just called NG track. No, it's narrow gauge track all words. All words, as opposed to, you know, they're not words. Put that there, make our lives a little bit easier. I don't know why I clicked that before I left. And boy, do I not feel like setting up those multiple industries right now. And I'm not going to.
kind of expected to continue with something there, just like a following sentence. This is quite a tight turn, I will say that much. I feel bad for all the, the, whatever I'm going to make out to navigate that turn. At least it's not like Moro Castle, there's no, there's no, you know, 7% grade to go with it, or was that even like 8.5, I think? <laughs> I don't know, I'm not recalling completely, but I actually, and for whatever reason, I was doing a lot of research on, on, um, the Uintas one day, just because, just because, just because it was, I was on a research spree, as I call it. I could actually throw that kind of grade on here, but I'm not going to, because... I'm not freaking crazy. Um, <laughs> Speaking of freaking crazy, I know today I don't have a lot of time, and that's why I'm kind of, I'm Russian, and that's why I'm getting a little grumble grumble, if you can tell. I can't even tell, so it must not be that bad. Um, <laughs> whoops. I'm actually going to do that, because I think it'll look alright. Let's get that there. I know, I, I know what I was about to talk about, but I don't know how I was leading into it. So I'm just going to say it outright. Today, if all had gone to plan, I would have been seeing gravity later. And I've, I've heard fantastic things. Um, in fact... What I want to know, and I normally don't ask too many questions anymore, and you guys know that, that the daily the question thingy that I used to do is pretty discontinued. But, um... What was it? The question of the day? Yeah, that's what it was called. Um... No, I don't want that crazy of a berm. I want something way more mellow, and these guys are... They're hamming it up, I tell you. Oh, whatever, I'll work on that later. Um. Hopefully it's like 2%. No, it's almost 4, and then less than 2. This one's nothing, so if we go here. And lower that a considerable amount. We will have. Alright, let's go. It's better. It's not good. Alright, I'm gonna do something to fix this. But as I was saying, I don't normally do the questions anymore, but I want to know if you've seen it, what do you think of it? I mean, no spoilers, please, because now I probably won't be seeing it for another week. But I want to know what you think of it without, like, oh, this, the part where blah, 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 blah. Yeah, no thanks. I feel like that was in a commercial for something. But yeah, so we're going to have this hellish bridge. And... Yeah. I'm actually probably going to bring this out quite a bit so that it isn't quite so hellish on this side. But, um, it's pretty bad. Go me. Go you, go me. Ha ha ha. 